Hello, Morgan Knoll here with Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. This is going to be a used 2015 Cimarron four horse bumper pull. So it's a little more loaded out four horse bumper pull. Um, those of you going to shows all the time or want to pull behind a motor home, this would be a really nice one to get into. But we'll go ahead and get started right up front here. We've got our heavy duty adjustable coupler. So this comes in handy big time when you're towing with multiple different vehicles. So let's say you got a nice big truck and then you got an RV and then you got something else, you know, that way you're able to adjust it up and down and able to get it where you need it so it's riding level on the tow vehicle. Our safety chains, the manual crank jack, um, battery breakaway cable, so that's this one right here, and then your plug to run the lights and the brakes and stuff. So this trailer's exterior is white, and then it does have a cool little graphic on the side as well. And that graphic, I can put those windows up and you'll be able to see it better, because um, that's being covered right now. But over here on the tack room door, we've got our window, and then down below we do have the brush box as well. So I always keep my easy to grab stuff, stuff that I use pretty consistently in that box. And that way I'm not having to walk up into the tack room to find something real quick. And then we do have a step going up into the tack room. So that's a big one for me because then you're not having to come all the way over because this trailer is sitting eight wide. We do not have the running board on the side. So having that step there just definitely helps out. I mean, you can see lengthwise how much step you're getting out of it. But up there in the tack room, you do have a spare tire right to the right. And then our saddle rack. This one currently has just two on it because we do have a saddle rack in the back as well. Um, but those are adjustable. We can get you some more saddle tiers. We can get you more blanket poles, whatever you need. And then you can adjust them to your liking. Over on that partition wall, we've got our car it's completely carpeted, which is really nice, and then the bridle hooks too. And having that carpet behind the bridles is just gonna help keep them in good condition as well as the trailer in good, good condition with that swishing and swaying you get when you're driving down the road. It's gonna help prevent some of that. So coming over here to the hip side of the trailer, we've got our four drop down windows. So instead of just the bus windows, we did the drop or we got the drop downs on this one as well. And that way you get an extra airflow going through um, if you're hauling all over down south and stuff um, and it's hot and humid, you want to have as much airflow as possible. So getting those open definitely helps out big time. And then if you didn't want them open, they've got the um, bus window in them where you can just open this up and then you can have just a little bit of airflow and pop this back up. So I will put these up real quick. So you can see the decal. And then those do pop into place. I don't know if you're hearing that as I'm going. So you can drive with them down in that position. So decal on the side, we've got an LED light up above. And then down below, we've got two 7,000 pound Dexter torsion axles. So Cimarron, um, this one, like I said earlier, it's sitting eight feet wide and seven, four tall. So you got some extra height and width on this one. No mangers, so those bigger body horses, those, um, you know, thoroughbreds, warm bloods, or even your, just your big quarter horses, your running bred horses, they would appreciate this trailer a bit more because they get some more length in these stalls. And you'll see that when we hop up in there. So you got the 50-50 door split. So one side is your rear collapsible tack. So if you wanted, you know, more space for horses to get in and out and didn't want this back here, this saddle rack actually pops out um, and then you can collapse that wall over. And let's say if you wanted these saddle tiers on that other saddle rack up in the front tack room, you can do so. So that's really nice to have just the flexibility and being able to, you know, maneuver it as you you find what suits your needs. And then we've got our blanket bar on the door that swings out. 
So really nice to have when you've got multiple pads and trying to layer or grabbing one from the middle, something like that. It's just nice to be able to swing it out and give yourself some more room. And then we got bridle hooks up above as well. So more carpet behind them, more bridle hooks, plenty of tack space in this trailer, which I really like because I seem to be a tack hoarder. So <laughs> having the more tack space, the better. And then coming in here on the horse side, so this is a telescoping divider. So that pushes in and out of the way. And that way you've got more space for these horses to get by when you've got this tack room pushed out. And then it's super simple to just pull this out. I'll show you here in a second how it works. Um, but we got the stud stall in the first stall. So no pads currently on this trailer, but if you wanted to get some pads on here, we could definitely do so in the service department. And then up above each stall, you do have a roof vent. So those come forward and back. You push them forward, they're gonna help draw that air in and suck it in. Push them back, help draw it back out and just keep that airflow going over their backs and stuff. And then this one just pulls out, popped into place by itself. Not all the way. There we go. So, there we go. If you were talented, you could do that a little easier. Um, <laughs> but it's super simple how it just pops right, right into place and being able to telescope that and get it down and just the safety overall, just really helpful to have. And then you got the butt bar that comes across the back. So this butt bar comes in handy when you got one in the back here that likes to, you know, potentially start backing out as soon as you open that door. If you've got one tied up that you could end up causing issues and cause an accident if they try to back out and don't have anything up and then they're still tied and everything. But you do have LED lights inside as well as on the exterior, so plenty of lights. This one currently does not have a ramp, but if a ramp is something you need or want, uh, we could definitely get one from the factory for you and get it installed here in our service department as well. So I will actually shut this door real quick because I didn't mention it earlier because I wanted to wait. Um, we do have a hay pod up on top of this trailer as well. So having that hay pod, um, being able to store whatever you want, um, and keep it airtight just helps out big time if you're going on those longer trips and stuff. So ladder on the back. So that ladder, it is an easy angle ladder. So you gotta do is pop it up and then and this is actually a brand new ladder too. Just got installed because the old one was bad. So everything is gonna be a little bit tougher at first. There we go. So that is how that moves. As it goes up and down, I'll probably play with it after we get done here and get it easier to move up and down for the next customer. But it um, pulls out to the side and that way you can walk up the side with ease. Instead of going straight up the side of the trailer, you're able to go at an angle and that just makes it easier on everyone. So being able to do that is awesome. And then that hay pot up above, just having that extra storage space helps out too. So over here on the head side of the trailer, we got our four drop downs in the escape door. So escape door has a drop down as well, but got the drop downs and then the jail bars that come down too. So these pop out of place, jail bars come down and then go back up with ease. So in doing so, I, I like the fact that you can, um, you know, offer water, offer hay, stuff like that while you're driving down the road and you're not having to go through the back of the trailer and worry about the horses getting loose or something like that. Just being able to have that flexibility and ease of use, being able to pull those down or put them back up. And then you do have the bus windows as well. So if you didn't want the full airflow of the drop down being down, you can get this bus window open part way and then put it back up and keep that airflow going through the trailer for the horses. So you got another LED light up above, so you could tie out and have the lights to be able to see in the dark. Uh, comes in handy big time when it's dark out and you got a horse that spooks at everything. Um, and then your escape door is on a latch back, but it's got the drop down in it as well. And having this escape door, I don't know if you saw that in here, 
So me personally, I only have three horses, but a four horse would be really nice to use this as even more storage. So having the stud stall there, being able to put and stack things in there without it rolling back underneath the horse's legs just helps out big time and, you know, extra storage space. Who doesn't like storage space? And then you can see also by looking in here how long that stall actually is. With having this trailer eight feet wide with no mangers, it makes that stall pretty long and more comfortable for the horses. And then this got the latch that comes over and locks up. So again, this is a 2015 Cimarron North Star four horse bumper pole. And we're sitting at eight feet wide, seven, four tall. And then we got an on the floor length of 21 feet. And then empty weight on this one is 5,700 pounds. So depending on your vehicle, definitely double check your tow ratings and make sure that you are able to tow a trailer before you hook onto it and go. But the stock number we got on this one is 5U211503. Again, that's 5U211503. It's a 2015 Cimarron North Star four horse bumper pole. But if you guys have questions on this trailer, any other trailers you might see on our website, or if you're looking to build a trailer, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call or text me at my cell phone and that's 303-684. Oh, that's my desk phone, sorry. 303-684-3451, desk phone. Call or text me at my cell phone, that's 970-218-5996. Or you can shoot me an email at well, morgan.noll at transwest.com and that's m-o-r-g-a-n dot k-n-o-l-l at transwest.com. I'm going to work on my words today. You guys have a great day. Give me a call. I look forward to hearing from you. <laughs>